Good afternoon, traders. It's E from MarketWizards.com and eMiniWizard.com. Just before 6 o'clock on the 8th of May 2019, reminding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. Just reviewing a quick couple of programs that we've got, especially the new offering and our new session that's uh, just begun. We've got some savvy traders in there. You may want to consider joining us. Uh, it's not too late to come in and get a lesson. Maybe pick up your game a little bit, some things you forgot over the years. Uh, the system itself obviously is the core of what we try to teach. And we're obviously always willing to talk and listen to other traders that want to partner up and come up with ideas that we're, we can help each other share. And uh, as a capitalist, obviously help others and still profit from that. First things first. You need to be able to help yourself and then you can help the next guy. So my idea is to try to gather some people around us who are savvy and smart. We're starting to do that and hopefully you'll be one of them to join us. Reminder, risk disclosures. Use trading capital you can afford to lose and not harm yourself. All right, taking a look at a couple of charts. <clears throat> we can see that we were deeply oversold. We had a nice bounce back today. <clears throat> this uh, line I've got here reminds me that this was last week's low back here at this 2900 area. And I wanna make sure that I respect that. Came in today and you can see where the end of day 60 really, you know, popped that thing south side traders all day long working and working and hoping to get up and squeeze again like yesterday's close and we felt that that would not happen by the law of alternation that we should get a pullback and anybody who had worked all day at Walmart we said make sure you get paid you want to <clears throat> go home with something in your pocket for all your efforts and those that heeded obviously did well even if they didn't take a short but those that just hung on and and hoped and hoped uh gave a lot of it back really in in that last uh 45 minutes or so of the market running through a couple of the charts this was our intraday chart we had the thrust down we said a bounce is theoretically a contra we noted that this idea right here could be a third time through, but we said don't trust it. It's too late in the day. Longs have not really taken any profits other than in this, in this uh, lunch nonsense. Squeezed all afternoon. This line was our uptrend line that showed the squeeze pivots. And then the neckline broke and we said first things first, we've got to get back under 91s. And if so, then obviously the 87 and a half would be the next idea. If we break that, then we can yippee, get back to the 84s, 82 area. Got that on video for our members. It'll be in the Zoom room. You can take a look at that. And then we said, obviously, make sure you are paid coming down here into that uh, 80 and a quarter, bottom of the pipe. And let's use 78 support. One of our traders, taught me a great lesson today uh, about this potential target. And he had said, if we go south side, 80 and a quarter should be a target. And he was absolutely right. I love traders that come into our room and share their uh, ideas and knowledge with us. Great, great call. Weekly chart. <clears throat> we thought that this prior low was going to be a key and so far that is held. We set up this morning saying, okay, let's use, uh, obviously yesterday's low is support till broken. Uh, we noted the candle bottoms right here. This is one of the reasons we thought, okay, this is it right here. This is gonna hold and if we're right, it's gonna bounce and it's gonna squeeze some shorts that don't see the bounce coming today. So support zone, uh, this was our fighting zone end of the day and this was our resistance zone. Pretty simple technique just to get the idea of where potential, and it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be close enough for government work. And the monthly, we felt that this bottom zone, we started with this bottom zone as support. Said, okay, it's held, let's think about this. And if we get above 99, this is our next resistance zone. So we did a lot of battling here. We ended down here. So now we're gonna just drop this down and say, okay, that's the support zone. This is obviously 
fighting zone and this is our resistance zone for now. Simple as that. Be consistent with our analysis. 5RTH. We noted this was our angel from yesterday. When we came down early, we said this is the angel. Make sure that you don't get thinking too crazy short side. This could be a support. Turned out that was. That never broke those first couple of bars. And then it was climb and climb. And this was the lunch pull back. And then this crazy little drift. And we said the rain line is going to be support plus or minus a point or two. And don't get carried away. Could squeeze, but we thought, make sure you're paid. Then we got a couple of bars, and we said, you got to get back under this 91 area. And if you do, then look out. We could come back, test the 87 and a half, and then come down and hopefully get to the 85, 84 zone and make sure you're paid coming in with a 78 support. So this worked pretty well, um, and you never know. But once you're going over and under, we just felt longs would want to take some profits by the end of the day. And uh, the goose at the end of the day was yesterday, and, and we felt it would not do that again today. It was like a frog in boiling water. 15-minute Globex, <clears throat> we thought this would be a good chart, and we also noted how close we were getting to the rain line. We suggested make sure you are paid coming into that 95 to 96 and a half for sure. There are a number of reasons for that, but <clears throat> mainly we wanted to make sure anybody that worked all day got paid, and, and this was a nice washout at the end of the day. Can't count on it, but uh, we get it. And here's that yearly chart, 96. You'll note one level back, so we wanted to make sure it paid. Coming into that zone, we thought that would be a player, and that was one of the reasons we wanted to make sure that we didn't overstay at the end of the day on that really, you know, just an inchworm-type climb. I'll keep an eye on that, obviously. Backing up one second, that 96 and a half was yesterday's middle. We thought that was an important idea, and that's one of the reasons why we said be very careful coming into that at the end of the day, that this could be a resistance zone. Turned out it was. Market just opening. And if you'll do your your math from the top to the bottom we said obviously anybody that plays make sure you are out and if we get the bounce at the end of the day towards the doji make sure anybody that's looking to calculate your middle in here and that should be paid by this return this 87 and a half was a break so any place in that 87 to 288 should be paid for sure and then obviously we're in the pipe right now. So anybody's taking a holdover and a return, obviously got to be paid by this uh, 79 to 80 and a quarter. And we are in the pipe right now. Helpful to look at the charts this way. This was the setting for our predictive model core of it, uh, this 86 to 96, basically. That's the pipe zone today. Underneath, you're looking for lower supports. Base support today, obviously, is this 71, 72 area. And this is the extreme zone. And the extreme up here today was the um, basically 10 to 20 zone. And normal resistance would be back here. Right there. Normal resist uh, support right there. And last chart, the big boys OTF predictive chart. Suggested that the 71 was a support. Suggested that the flipper was actually 90.62. That was obviously the, the doji area. And then the top of that box, 2,900.39. And the bottom, 2,880.86, call it 81. And close enough for, for government work. So very helpful today to, to understand. We had had a pretty good shot south side yesterday, and we'd better think a little bit more conservatively, conservatively today about any new low. We thought consolidation was the idea. And so far, that played out. 
and some of the tools that we use, not just one or two, but 10 or 11 different tools that we try to help. And we call them our super jurors rather than have just one idea like order flow. Um, that would be a that would be a judge. We'd rather have a jury. We'd rather have a number of ideas. Very math, the charts in play, sequence trading, our market structure, secret code, the balance of power, um, the flip-flops, Fibonacci, support and resistance pivots, our 1% rule, our angels and demons, our Darvis box theory, tunnel through time, and our squeeze pivots. These are the most important uh, jury members that we use to help us analyze markets. And some of them are very simple to use, some of them a little more complex. We think simple is best under pressure, uh, but they all work together just like a car. And uh, you could have a go-kart and that would be fine going down a hill as, as long as you had a little gravity working with you and you, and you had a brake in your four tires. But if you want to go uphill, then obviously you're going to need a little more sophisticated engine in there and uh, some gears and whatever. And uh, I believe that's what we do with our system. All right, thanks for listening. Hope uh, you had a great day, and um, we'll meet again, I hope.